It is that time of the year again, and most people are starting to plan their holiday meals. The choice of recipes are seemingly endless. Chef Kim Holmes is here to share a holiday specialty. And thanks Good for evening. coming on the show. It's always a pleasure. Hey, you're our favorite. I think this is the one of our favorites. What, one of, one of favorites. the favorites, well, that's for sure. And uh, your restaurant, how's it going? Very well, thank you. Okay. Well, Sanders? we'll be 30 years old this uh, July. Excellent. So anything yes. big planned for the 30th? Well, I did a street dance for the 25th. I don't know if I have the chops for the, <laughs> to do one for the 30th, but I probably will. Sure. You know, might as well. You have to keep it big. <coughs> right. It's that time of the year again, the holidays, uh, right. and people are kind of getting stressed out in the kitchen. What is your best tip for those stressed out meal cookers? Plan ahead. Get as much done before the big day as possible. Like you can do your stuffing a day ahead, you can dress the prime rib a day ahead, or the turkey, get that ready. Whatever you're serving, uh, just prepare. Get You can even make the mashed potatoes ahead and heat them up if you want. Mm -hmm. Or what I do is I have them all chopped and in water, and then just drain the water the day of, fill it up with fresh water, and cook them off. Go. Yeah, sure. okay. but that's the key. Okay. So it kind of looks like that's what we're doing today. What are we cooking? We are cooking prime rib and uh, standing rib roast or whatever you want to call it. But it's a bone out lip on prime rib. Lip on. Lip yeah. on. And what does that a, mean? And that's a fat cap that comes out I here. See. I've trimmed it up and trimmed the prime rib. So uh, taking as much fat off as possible. And why is prime rib a great thing to have? What, what are the reasons to have a prime rib? Because it has such great flavor and uh, it's tender and cooked properly, it's delicious. Okay, and uh, you know, oftentimes people talk about great cuts of meat and getting uh -huh. the right one. And How do you know you're getting a good prime rib? Uh, you want choice or better, choice or prime. Uh, those are the two grades that you want to get. If you could ever get prime, and that's a hard uh, choice to get, but it's great. Okay. And this is prime. Okay. Do you want to go with fresh or frozen? Fresh. Always, Always uh, your uh, entree should be fresh. And then how much do you need to feed your family? Would this feed a family? Uh, that would feed, it depends uh, how many bubba cuts you make out of that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but I would say that could feed uh, 10 people easily. Okay. I mean, you'll probably have a turkey or ham at Christmas. Sure. Well, when you said lip on, I was thinking to get my lips on some of this meat right away. So that, <laughs> let's get You're started here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's, uh, let's start dressing this, as, okay. as you called it. We, uh, we take uh, a little bit of olive oil. Put olive oil on here and rub that in. What what does the, what is the purpose yeah. for that? It just it holds all the spices. I see. Okay. And helps uh, flavor it. Then garlic puree. I don't think there's been a time you've been on without garlic. Uh, <laughs> it's part of my life. <laughs> it makes the room smell so good too. Uh, and I see we've got a, a bunch of other spices in front of us yes. as well. Can it get too spicy? Uh, only if you put too much garlic on. Okay. If you don't like garlic, yep. uh, you won't like to come to my house. <laughs> <laughs> Should you leave the spices on for a long time? Uh, what we do, good question. What we do is we dress this and we cover it and we put it in the refrigerator overnight. Okay. And then in the morning we come in and throw it in the uh, oven. I have a special prime rib oven called an Alta Sham. Okay. And now and you're putting pepper on right now? White pepper. Salt. Just a sprinkle. Yeah, you don't, it's you don't need a lot much. of salt. You're not dumping all of it on no. there, that's for sure. However, the rosemary, you can be quite generous with. Okay. Yeah, are any of these uh, where you, you have to make sure you don't put too much? The salt you said, not a whole bunch? Uh, no, you, okay. you, can, you can, as you see, I'm covering it pretty uh, thoroughly. Okay. Mm -hmm. Then uh, oregano. Can you change up the spices if you like yes, something else? Yes, if you else? like thyme or... Cajun or even or something? Cajun, like. yeah, you can okay. do... Spice it up just a little bit. A Cajun rub on this. Okay. And then... Uh, do you have to basil. marinate like, at all? Can you? Yeah, it, or can you? This is Yeah, this you is can dry, sink but, this in a marinade if okay. you so desire. Now, that's just one side. All right. So, oh, so you do both oh. sides. It's not oh, just yeah. the top. All right. Yeah. Okay. And 
when you do get all of these on there, you said you put it in overnight and you, you let the, uh, the spices uh, get so into the meat a little bit. Yes. Uh, and then what about the cooking part of it? Okay, we cook the prime rib. Uh, I like to heat the oven up when you're using a regular oven mm -hmm. to about 500 degrees. And then you uh, put the prime rib in for about, this is about a six pound roast mm -hmm. for 35 minutes. Okay. And then you shut the oven off and you do not open the oven door. Okay. Trust me. Well, how do you, you know do to take a peek? Yeah. No, no, you have a... <laughs> you have just, a light for that. Okay. You have a light and a glass window and mm -hmm. you look in. Okay. <laughs> but you uh, leave this on uh, the door shut for one hour. Mm -hmm. And then you uh, open it up, pull the prime rib out, let it rest. And you'll have uh, medium to medium well on the ends and, and rare in the middle. All right. and then, What's the easiest thing to mess up? Uh, you know? Overcooking. Sure. And that's <laughs> what I was going to say too. You said medium on the outside, rare on the inside. Yeah. So that's what you would suggest for a good yes, prime rib. Yes, medium rare to rare on the uh, inside. Sure. We have a special prime rib cooker that uh, we put the, uh, the prime rib in in the morning at 10 o'clock. Mm -hmm. And it cooks at a 250 degrees for about, it depends on how many prime ribs we have in, from two to three hours. Then we uh, uh, put it on hold for in, until dinner opens. All right. Excellent. So. I smell it. It smells great. Trust me. We have to get out now, Kim. Thanks so much for coming on. We appreciate Pleasure. it. Pleasure. Thanks for having me. All right. Two babies.